Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. Now in today's video we have the Personal Shield Generator. So I know it's nothing to look at on the screen itself, but it's a very useful little item. So before we get into the whole testing and showing it off, let's just show what it looks like and how much it costs. So down here is the Shield Generator. That is it. It's just a tiny little thing that sits in your inventory like so and it protects you from all the little bumps and bruises you'll get on your journey but how much does it cost to make you ask well if i go to production and over here you'll see it costs 33.33 iron 25 cobalt 3.3 gold and 1.0 platinum so if you start on an earth like planet you are not going to be able to build this until you get to the asteroids or the moon so what happens when you build it and pick it up? So if I bring my HUD up and pick it up, if I can, the these these are a little bit fiddly to pick up, so you might need to aim a bit. I do have the crosshair on, so it's a little bit more fiddly, but anyway, you pick it up, and then you'll notice that your power will start draining. So if I now just go and drop these, we don't need these items, and then spawn in a new one. So here we go. So it's in my inventory now, and as you can see, my energy is slowly going down. That's because the personal shield generator is now charging. It will take roughly 50% of your suit's energy to fully charge. And once it's fully charged, you are ready to go out and about. I do recommend having one of these little pod things to sit in. So when your energy goes down, you just sit in it and your energy will continually go up. So we're now at 70%, it should stop at 50 hopefully, and then we'll go off to a pirate base. Now one thing I will mention is, as you can see there, I do have two shield generators sitting on the floor there which were in my inventory. If you have more than one, they do not stack. So you can't have like 20 or 100 in your inventory and be a god. Nope, only one will work. And there we go, 50 energy is done and I got a little pop-up message saying that the shield generator is fully charged. So let's just hop in here for a little second and pull my energy all the way back up. Although it doesn't really matter because I'm in creative mode, but it should help when I start to get shot. So out we come here and run along all the way outside because it's time to find some pirates. So unfortunately I had to switch over to survival because it was not working on creative because there was no way to tell if the shield was working in fact. So now I'm back. Survival mode is enabled, and you can see all my stats are going down as normal. And it's time to run over to this little ore facility to see what happens when the shield is on. Now when I loaded in, it did charge the shield up again for some odd reason, but whatever. So now I'm at 45% energy, so it should be interesting to see what happens. Let's see if I can piss them off from here. So bang, 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 bang. No. Let's just fly over here. I've got to be very careful here because my... um. Hydrogen will go down very quickly on this planet. So hopefully, it's going to start shooting me at any point now. Here we go. There we go. Did you see that? There's the shield. Let's get rid of all that. Thank you. Okay, so blue is good. Yellow probably means it's low on power. And red will probably mean it's very low on power. So I can keep going. It's fairly strong. Yes, I know my life support is low. But can I kill this? Ooh. Oh, the shield is low. But yeah, this is the personal shield. There's not much to it. You just wear it and it will help you with a few bumps and bruises, like I said before. It's not that great when trying to fight turrets like this, but it is enough for you to, say, escape from a little trap. And it's probably, like, enough for you to, say, escape from, say, some of those pesky wolves or spiders which are all out and about in the world but it's not very good for like assaulting bases because it's simply too weak to take such a pummeling from a turret or an interior turret but anyway it's in the description below if you want to try it yourself i do recommend you do because it can change the game quite a lot if you use it correctly so thank you for watching and i shall be back with another video sometime soon bye bye